Hello, and welcome to the Wind Channel Tunnel. Currently, we are working on upgrading this DIY wind tunnel that I built in my garage, but specifically today, we're focusing on this front portion that controls the laminar flow system. Now, here's what we're working with. Right here is pretty smooth, but when we get out here to the middle where we wanna put our uh, object, it gets pretty turbulent. You see all that? smoke moving around. We want that to be as smooth of a stream all the way across as we can. So today we're going to design and print something for this section of the wind tunnel to be able to hopefully give us better laminar flow. Let's get into it. Wind tunnels are used to test the aerodynamics of uh, airplanes, cars, really important stuff. I wanted to test the aerodynamics of really random things like a pickleball, Batmobile, or a toy plane. Super random things like maybe this Jedi uh, Interceptor. So we put this in here and we turn the fan on and we can see super cool things in a wind tunnel and kind of pretend like they're in, in space or they're flying or whatever. It works by having a fog machine on one end that is the air is flowing through um, a laminar flow device that basically just makes all the air parallel and then it goes across the chamber and through this fan that I have. It's a variable speed computer fan. And so we can change the speed, which changes the airflow in the wind tunnel. And the biggest problem I have right now is that the air in the middle of the wind tunnel is not as laminar or parallel or straight as I would like it to be. So the first thing that we need to do is to measure is to measure this area. So here's what we got. Here's our dimensions. Uh, I did the arrows so that it helped me understand. So we're gonna take these, convert them to millimeters, and maybe subtract a couple. My idea is to have it be a hexagon. That was the worst hexagon in the world. Uh, but then kind of cut pieces. So there's gonna be one, two, three, four, five pieces. Uh, that should fit right there. Okay, here it is. It is finally ready after what felt like two weeks of printing. Uh, we are ready to, we're ready to roll. Each one of these took eight hours to print. So that is 16, well, this one, I ran out of filament. So this one's, this one's shorter and it's gonna be fine. Uh, and if I need to reprint it, I totally can. But so that's 12 hours. And these are to go in here. I'll, I'll show you each one of these. Each one of these took about five hours to print. Originally, I wanted to have all this be one piece. However, my print bed was smaller than this. So I had to cut it up into different pieces and it took a long time uh, because I did what is called print by object instead of print by layer. And so it would only print one of these at a time. And after I finished that, ironically, the software upgraded to where it now defaults to print by layer. So I could have done uh, a lot more prints a lot more quickly uh, over overnight. We got it, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 uh, pieces. I think that's right. Oh, I don't, I think I totally can't go wrong, but I don't wanna count again. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to take these pieces, put them in the wind tunnel, test it and see, see if it actually fixes the airflow. Should fit like a glove. Come on. Yes. That is pretty, pretty snug. It 
unintentionally looks like the Imperial symbol from Star Wars. But I think the design is super cool. Let's, let's test it and see, see if we actually fixed anything. Here's what it looked like before. And now here's what it looks like after. Oh, that's, it's definitely better. Um, interesting. It looks, it looks a lot better, a lot more laminar. The thing I am noticing is right along here, this spot, I think, fly, get out of here. I think because the holes are bigger right here, it, it's wanting to push the air through here. So I, I'm pretty impressed with that. I like it. Um, let me try something. Turn the fan up a little bit. See if it increases. Okay, so it makes it more turbulent towards the, towards the beginning right here. Um, but I think, I think we can fix that. I have an idea. I'm pretty pumped that that worked. <laughs> Never done anything like that before. That was a pretty fun project. It took forever, uh, but I'm excited to see the results. The next thing that we're gonna tackle is this beast. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about this idea. My thought process is, so the fan is right here. If I move the fan closer to uh, the airflow, I'm thinking uh, similarly to, if we, so this fan right here, we turn this on, you can feel the airflow a lot closer to the fan than you can a lot farther away from the fan. So I think my best guess is that it works the same way. My best guess is that it works the same way, but from the air, air pulling through, the closer we are to the spot that we want the turbulent flow to disappear, I think the better chance we have at getting some real good laminar flow. And I think it'll fix this problem of the air flowing through the bottom because the only outlet will be through the middle right there. So yeah, if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. Super glad you're here. If you have any thoughts or ideas uh, or family friendly snide remarks, please leave them in the comments below.